It's one step at a time with this robotic suit, but a big leap forward for China's robotics industry. Climbing stairs is no longer an uphill task with this wearable technology known as an exoskeleton. It's fully electric and its battery can run for up to five hours. 衍生出来的一种新的方法就是我们称之为人机共融和人机协作。那么就是说，一部分的工作让机器人去干，一部分的工作是由人和机器人共同协作完成的。These exoskeletons are made by Shanghai-based company ULS Robotics. They reduce the stress on the body caused by repetitive tasks. This helps reduce workplace injuries and helps workers be more productive. 在矿业也好，或者是说我们的机场搬运也好，或者是我们其他的一些野外的工作搬运过程中也好，其实外部哥最大的作用就是说去辅助这个工作人员去减少他腰部的一个力量的输出，其实本质上是增加他的耐力，增加他的一个体力啊，从而去提高效率，那么进一步避免受伤。First developed for medical and military purposes, exoskeletons are now being used for industrial and logistics purposes. Globally, the exoskeleton market is projected to grow from over 300 million US dollars in 2021 to 7.4 billion US dollars by 2030. By 2025, the market size of the industry in China is expected to reach 1.5 billion US dollars. China is already the world's largest market for industrial robotics. And this market is expected to grow given China's aging and shrinking population. 那么现在由于人口结构变化，人数变少，那么他有些要两三个人的岗位，其实可能只能招到一个人。那这一个人的话，在这里做这些重体力的劳动、搬运工作的话，其实势必会加强，他就是会严重的去损害到他的一些腰部的一些关节啊，包括肌肉啊之类的问题。啊，所以说我们觉得应该要使用外骨骼来帮助他去减轻他进一步的这个工作强度啊，也其实也是为了避免受伤。The aging population for sure. Has been one of the drivers. Um, I would also say the tight labor market before and during, as well as like coming out of COVID-19 at the moment, um, that has really increased the demand for these exoskeletons. And I like the advances in robotics today, and now they're able to integrate a lot of like lighter motors or lighter mechanical. Component into an exoskeleton that helps to like ease and increase the adoption of exoskeletons in the market. But all this was put on hold during China's zero COVID shutdown. Suppliers, factories were closed, and demand plummeted. With China now back in business, there is fresh momentum in the robotics industry, and companies like ULS Robotics. Which develops its own core technology, are poised for new opportunities. Part of that growth will be powered by the new ways in which this technology will be used, not just in industrial settings, but closer to home. The main demand will come from the healthcare sector in particular. I think also like having gone through the demands of. COVID-19 and now exoskeletons can be used to alleviate the stress of nurses, for example, not only patients, right, for example. So I think that being said, there are a lot more applications now that are that were exacerbated by COVID-19 that can be applied in the healthcare sector. 这里的设备呢，其实都是在我们现有的工业基础上去进行演变的。因为我们的工业设备其实最主要的是做的是人体的运动跟随啊、助力和协助。那么其那是它的更多的侧重点可能是在一些重载荷的高强度的一些搬运活动啊。但是如果把这些设计功能我们进行简化和弱化之后呢，它其实调整了它的操作重点以后，其实可以变成一种老年人用的一种常规的工具。The company hopes to have a consumer product for the elderly by the end of the year, but one big barrier is the price tag. Our price is similar to a small car price. We can say that the price is in the range of 5 to 7 million dollars. In the future, we hope that the price tag will be reduced and the price tag will be reduced to a phone or a phone, or even lower. They might look a little bulky and robotic now, 
but exoskeletons of the future will be lighter, more compact and user-friendly. With more advanced control systems and artificial intelligence algorithms, they'll also be able to give humans a step up. In the future, uh, humans that can walk faster, run faster, jump higher, hear more, see further, um, all of these things will be augmented, what we're calling augmented human technologies, right? The development of exoskeletons and a lot of the kind of technologies such as AI will give us an edge on how, can, how we can augment as human and how we can turn any abilities and disabilities even into our superhuman power. 可能是成为一件衣服或者成为类似于像手机这样的物品